Revy OS, Atlas OS, Co-Spectre, probably you have heard about this custom version of Windows, but which one will be the best for you? Hmm, let's try to find out. I want to know that in today's video there will be a comparison that I filmed earlier, but at the end of the video I will try to choose the best light version of Windows, in my opinion. In the first test we will compare Ghost Spectre against Atlas OS, importantly to know that this is 22H2 version. So let's get started. But wait, I almost forgot about our sponsors. 40 Dig Data Recovery, a leading software provider with a decade of experience, proudly unveils version 10.0 of its flagship product 40 Dig Data Recovery. This latest release not only improves the user interface, but also introduces the enhanced video recovery feature, solidifying its position as the preferred solution for data loss. Unlike conventional recovery tools, 40 Dig now can simultaneously attempt to repair both videos and photos during the recovery process. Links to download 4D Dig Data Recovery can be found in the video description. As you can see, Atlas OS takes up much more space than Ghost Spectre. It takes 22.7 GB, while Ghost takes half as much, only 11 GB of space. In Task Manager, Atlas OS uses 1.4 GB of RAM, while Ghost Spectre uses 1.2 GB of RAM. I do not see any serious differences between them, and sometimes Atlas OS used less RAM than Ghost Spectre, a close match for both of them. It should be noted that the processor loads more often in Ghost Spectre than in Atlas OS sometimes 7%, sometimes 15%, but this doesn't happen often. Nothing special if we look at the background processes, but if you look closely at the Windows processes, you can immediately notice that the code has much more of them, 70 Windows processes, and Atlas OS in this case has only 31 processes, so it is clearly the winner in this test. I would like to remind you that the operating system are tested under the same conditions. Plus, screen is being recorded so the result will be fair enough. As you can see in CPU-Z we have identical specs of processor, cores, threads and base frequency. With the help of this program we can see how many points the processor will score in multi-thread and in single thread. In the end, Ghost Spectre did a better job than Atlas OS, scoring 1335 multi-core and 375 single-core. Atlas OS scored a bit less, but it did pretty well too. CPU Queen is very popular benchmark and it is interesting because it allows you to compare the result of your CPU with other processors. There is not much to say because in this case the result is quite similar and I cannot choose a clean winner. Also today I decided to include in the list of the tests the unzipping of the archive. After all, agree that you often have to unzip the archive and many people can find this function quite useful. And again, even though Ghost Spectre was one second faster, it wouldn't be fair to give him the win for that, so I'll say both did great. The last test for today will be in Cinebench R15. I'm using a slightly older version, but even with this program we'll see if there is a big difference. So let's get started. As you can see, Ghost Spectre scored 10 points more than Atlas OS. I'm surprised that the results are quite similar because I expect to see a significant difference. But in the end, Atlas OS and Ghost Spectre did a great job. 
I want to know that I like the Atlas OS interface more, but this is my personal preference and it has nothing to do with performance. I also noticed one interesting thing. Atlas OS has a Microsoft Store, from which you can easily download games and programs, but CoSpector does not have this function. Although, who knows, maybe for someone it is a benefit. In the second test, I compared Atlas OS with ReviOS, and the result of Atlas OS were slightly different, but in this test, I recommend paying attention to results of ReviOS. My friends, we are in Revy OS, and first of all, let's check how much space Revy OS take. I will click on the right mouse button, select properties. Surprisingly, Revy OS take only 11.4 gigabyte of space, and that's impressive because Atlas OS takes 18 gigabyte of space. Obviously, in this situation, it also use less RAM than Atlas OS because Atlas OS use 1.2 GB of RAM, but completely to be honest, they both do a great job and probably they look quite similar. And let's click on the processes. Here we can see 14 background processes and if we scroll down a little bit, here we see 32 Windows processes quite similar to Atlas OS. And finally, let's start benchmarks. Open CPU-Z. If you pay attention, you may see that I also allocated four cores. Let's click on bench and run the test. In multi-core, it scored 1,335 points and in single core, 373 points. And one more time, to be honest, I think it's not a big difference. Let's run AIDA64. Let's start CPU Queen test. Click on start. Whoa, we have quite interesting 26,724 points. That's a close match, but Atlas OS did a better job because it almost got 28,000 points and we see only 26,724 points. Of course, finally, let's run the last test for today, Signbench R15. Click on it. Let's get it started. Now we need to wait a few minutes until test will complete. As you can see, we have also four cores. As a final result, we get 364 points. I want to remind you, in Atlas OS, the result was 373 points. And as you can see, it's a close match. And finally, let's take a close look at Atlas OS on the newer version of Windows, 23H2. And finally, believe it or not, but we are in Atlas OS. Firstly, you may notice that all files and programs are on the desktop and that's great. So let's check the version of the Windows or it's better to say the version of Atlas OS. So I will click here, select system, scroll down a little bit. And yes, this is a Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version. Here we have the similar specification, Intel Core i5 processor of 8 generation and 6 GB of RAM. Now I will close this window. Now let's check how much space does it takes. So I will click on this folder, click on the right mouse button, select properties. Even though after upgrading to Atlas OS it takes the similar amount of space, 21.9 GB. Now let's check how much RAM does it take, type task manager here we have task manager click on it i will open it in full screen to make it more convenient if you take a close look you may see the system use 1.7 gigabytes of ram also i noticed that it use less cpu which is really awesome because it will improve the performance of your system and you can run other utilities without any problems at the bottom you may see 74 processes which is impressive in the past there were 150 processes but still let's check when those processes so i will click here now we have 27 background processes and here we have windows processes 44 which is great so yep atlas os is much lighter than windows 11 obviously the last test for today will be the benchmark in cpu z double click on it 
select yes. You may see that all application works perfectly even after upgrading to Atlas OS. We have the similar specs, two cores, two threads, click on bench and select bench CPU. As a final result, my processor scored on a multi-core 1064.9 points and on a single core 356 points. In my opinion, it's quite similar to Windows 11 and completely to be honest, I don't see a particular difference in this test. You may see that on desktop new folder appears, which is Atlas folder. Simply to understand, this folder is only optional, it's not necessary to use it. Moreover, if you wish, you can just delete it. Of course, it all depends on you. So now we can normally use Atlas OS, I mean Windows 11. My conclusions. In general, each of the operating system that you saw today will be faster than the original Windows 11. And this is a fact. If I had to choose one of them, I will probably go with RevOS. After all, in my opinion, it generally shows the best results in the performance and moreover, it has a friendly interface. But the only thing that I noticed before upgrading to Revy OS from Windows 10 or Windows 11, you should install all necessary drivers in advance because after that, it will be quite problematic. You know what? I'm just sharing my thoughts and experience, but in the end, it's all up to you. If this video was helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to connect two Bluetooth earbuds to one Windows PC.